hello and uh, welcome back uh, today I have something uh, yeah, I don't know call it special I didn't know it, it, it existed it is a, a spectrum analyzer um, but you connect it to your oscilloscope and uh, the oscilloscope needs to be, pu be put in uh, XY mode and then it can display the, the spectrum so uh, it should go from 0 to 500 megahertz it is something I, I bought from one of uh, my viewers. It's uh, built by uh, Dick Lyer. It is not uh, not his design, but uh, he uh, he built it as a project, and he has a few nice uh, projects. And I will put his uh, website because he builds uh, all these special radios. So it's fun to see. Have a look if you want. Um, yeah, it, it came with uh, all the schematics and uh, yeah well I have seen this only once before and that was uh, like a few weeks ago in my uh, electronic group in the TIA section one of the guys of the EV block in the TIA had, uh, had one of these as well and uh, I was surprised I just found one the, there is a big hole here <laughs> that was actually for the, the display of the frequency because you can adjust the frequency and you but you don't see now what you adjusted uh, to so we just need to uh, play a little bit with it uh, yeah w one thing already was I never this oscilloscope I don't have that long so I needed to look out to even put it in the XY mode uh, but I found that out so uh, well, let's play a little bit okay let's uh, see if we uh, understand how it works uh, it's switched on I don't want to put too much signal on the input so I will just put a little antenna uh, this is the X it says I need to put it on 1 volts so let's do that on the X that is already on 1 volt so that is good we put it on Y and that is good and then I switch on XI mode and there we see something mm. we can adjust speed okay if you adjust speed it becomes just wider or slower so just put it as full as possible uh, we can do frequency width and we can do off stemming so if we just go very wide first then I will try to transmit oh yeah I start to see something oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's my career yeah okay cool that works <laughs> can you see in the I think I will zoom in Wait. and uh, then we can also tune oh, oh, oh. yes it does work we have amplification I can do a little bit less yeah you see the peak rise there are filters here broad or small I like the small and then uh, if we put the change the width and you can see that the okay and it becomes more detail okay now you have a little bit better view on the oscilloscope and if you can see the you can see the, the the carrier and if you change the frequency width you can see that it's turning the detail of course is not that good in a real uh, spectrum analyzer but you you do see something um, let's compare it I can put the tiny essay also here Okay, I also put the tiny essay. I put it between uh, 140 and 150 because I'm transmitting on 144 800. And uh, yeah, the detail is a little bit more in the tiny essay. 
ball a lot more. But uh, it's uh, still kind of uh, accurate because you see here a little peak and you see here it's a little bit noisy. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can change uh, a little bit the voltage that we see more. I don't know if that is possible. Can I? No. Maybe I need to do a little bit here. What if I do the filter? Do I see more detail then? No, it's just really the... Maybe I need to do this and then the small filter. No. Yes, I do see a little bit uh, noise. If the, 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 this what you see here, you see a little bit here, it is not that straight. So, uh, well, it's just fun. Let's see what it does in a higher frequency. Okay, I put an hour signal on uh, 430 megahertz. The tiny SI is already there, and now we need to see uh, if we can uh, find it in the other one. Yeah, it was a little bit uh, difficult to find the signal, but in the end I put my signal generator and then I could easily uh, find it. Uh, the sensitivity is a lot less if I'm transmitting now. As you can see the... You can see the signal, but you see so much more detail now on the tiny SA and of course it's a different uh, quality and it's uh, but yeah so it's le le less uh, less good on the higher frequencies but yeah it, it uh, is a cool device well if we have a closer look it, uh, it is nicely uh, built Here we have the sync system for the oscilloscope, the power supply, and here we have a big transformer, IF section, and it looks like an old TV tuner. And uh, yeah, why not use that? So the signal comes into the tuner, converts it down, comes into this system. Then you can work with the lower uh, frequency and adjusting of the frequency is just done by changing the power on the on the tuner. So so that was it. A little review, uh, not very extensive. Also, I, I don't know exactly the details how this works. But I just wanted to, to show you that it works. And especially in the past, before uh, you had these little tiny SA devices, there was no way you could have a spectrum analyzer. So it was really, really expensive. And uh, that's why these solutions are, are very nice. It's a, it's a very nice uh, project. And uh, yeah, I just uh, wanted to show you that these things also existed. So uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.